We welcome in the president and founder of the Tennis Channel, Steve Bellamy. Uh, Steve, let's go back to last night, the rude treatment of the birthday boy, Andy Roddick, by Gilles Mueller. What happened to A-Rod there? You know, I think he was a victim of just how good the talent pool is in tennis right now. Our sport is just, it's devastatingly talented. Um, I don't think there's another sport with a talent pool as high as tennis. And it's, re it's really hard to win consistently, to, be, to dominate the sport as, you know, it's like going up Mount Everest in a, uh, in a bathing suit. It's, it's challenging. He seemed a little flat to me last night, a little uninspired. Did you sense that? I thought that, that Giles just played an absolutely perfect match, and he really knew how to not give Andy what he wanted. I mean, he never gave Andy the big forehand in the center. He was keeping it to the backhand all the time. Every important uh, break point Andy had, you know, you had the big lefty kick out wide. Um, I think Giles had 40 more winners than unforced errors, which is, you know, nearly flawless. Andy only had 15 unforced errors. So I, I credit more to Giles than really Andy playing terrible. A lot of us had uh, Andy Roddick, you know, sort of putting his name down the draw all the way to the final. Who benefits the most from Roddick's early departure? Um, well, that side of the draw, you know, certainly Agassi, Nadal, those guys are, are going to be happy. Um, I, I would have picked probably Federer, Agassi to uh, go the distance, or Federer and, um, and Roddick to go the distance. Had this that not happened last night. This was certainly a stunner. We, we know that the network's covering the Open benefit the least from all this you're right there at the uh, at the intersection of tv and tennis yeah. what impact is this going to have uh, this loss so early in the tournament on on ratings and how it's, the whole coverage of the thing well, one thing about the u.s open and all the grand slams they're almost impervious to you know a first round loss here and there and it happens all the time um so you know the, the show will go on and everything will be fine i think for tennis it's it's hard because a lot of money went into to A Rod this time around. I mean, he had you know four big billboards in Times Square, and you know Amex had that great ad campaign going on, and Lacoste is pouring a lot of money. So, you know, he was kind of the, a big focal point, and to go out first round, uh, you know, we just don't have two weeks of marketing for him. Now, what was the Amex at? Was it something like something about his mojo or something? Yeah, it's a two-part series of him losing his mojo, and there's this uh, kind of wacky character that's stolen it and they're they're looking for it but it's it's very funny and uh, i hope they still run it even though a rod's not in it sounds like the uh campbell's chunky soup curse or something you know yeah. they they apparently didn't find his mojo at least la not last night roddick aside i mean isn't it isn't this roger federer's tournament to win anyway i mean could, did roddick even matter i i think roddick mattered i i mean andy roddick is absolutely one of the best athletes in the world he's one of the most talented tennis players in the history of the game um, he, he will get a better read on Federer, I would think, in the, in the next few years. Um, I don't know if it was going to happen this tournament or not. I, I think Federer is probably going to win this tournament. Uh, he's, he is just flawless. Roger Federer does not have a chink in his armor. I think Roger is the best athlete we have in all of sports right now. I really do. Yeah, he has been incredible, especially over the last year or so. Uh, on the women's side, the trendy choice has been Kim Kleister. How has she elevated her game? Um, you know, I, she looks really, really fit to me. I, I was standing next to her a couple of days ago, and I, I mean, man, it's just the body has completely changed. She just looks so fit and ripped and uh, tight and muscly. So uh, I, I had thought she was going to win going in, and after seeing her play, I would probably uh, agree with that. Steve, sure. you're, you're a guy who's intimately involved in uh, television and tennis. If you were king for the day, what would you change about the game? About the game of tennis? Yeah. Well, you know, we have four Super Bowls. You know, we are, we are a fragmented sport. We're a 51-week sport. We have no real definitive season outside of the, we've tried to create this U.S. Open Series, which has done a good job of that. So, you know, if, if I were king for the day, I would blow the entire thing all up and start over again and run it like most other sports with some big season ending and a season with a purpose and a, and a you know, a, a, a very finite amount of time that you do it in. Although it, it works for golf. I mean, you have the four majors in golf, and that seems to work, you know, and people sort of get up for the, the majors, and it, it's not a problem. Yeah, I think tennis is even more challenged, challenged because we are so international. I mean, it is just it's a completely global game, so it's, it's harder to build stars domestically, you know, when you could have uh, draws where you don't re recognize barely a person in the, in the draw. So, uh, you know, that's a problem. It's, it's much worse in tennis than it is in golf. Steve, I want to ask you to stick around. We want to do you for the uh, two-minute warning treatment in just a minute. Stay right there. You got it. 
Steve Bellamy, the founder and president of the Tennis Channel, rejoins us for our two-minute warning segment. Steve, you ready for this? I sure am. All right, get me a clock, get me a whistle, and here we go. What is the nature of the relationship between Andy Roddick and Maria Sharapova? Um, I'm not sure, but I would, I would like to be one of their agents if they, in fact, do start dating. If, if they do start dating, where does that rank in the pantheon of all-time great tennis couples? Uh, I'm going to put that on top. That's the number one best Better one. Better than Jimmy Connors and Chris Ever? I think the two, these two kids are so commercial, it would just hit it out of the park. Okay. Uh, forget game for a second. Which men's player has the biggest personality? Biggest personality is Andre Agassi, you know, bar none. What about on the women's side? On the women's side, I think uh, Venus or Serena or, uh, will be taking the crown in that one. Yeah, they, they work at it too, don't they? What do you, what do you make of these $40,000 earrings that uh, Serena likes to wear out to the court this week? I, I don't know if it's absolute sheer brilliance or absolute just dumb luck, but whatever she does seems to be you know, talk of the town, so she's nailed it. Yeah, she does have an ability for that. Is the level of player in America getting better or worse? Um, absolutely, unequivocally getting skyrocketing to the better. It is in the whole sport. You know, we're, we're a year-round sport, so you know, we don't have a season where we, we get our skills up and then we stop playing for five months and it all goes back down to the bottom of the well. So it's just the level of playing professional tennis in general is nuts right now, and American tennis is, is tagging along for sure. Okay, good to hear. Where do you think tennis ranks down the line in American sports? I think tennis is probably the sixth most popular sport. I know it is the sixth most popular sport by self-rated interest right now by consumers in America. Okay, give it a football, baseball, basketball, hockey. NASCAR. NASCAR. Uh, and golf? I think it's we're, behind golf, right? Uh, I, think, I think golf, maybe we're five and golf is six. Okay, you're ahead of yeah. golf. Who yeah. knew? Uh, who is the biggest jerk in tennis? Biggest jerk in tennis. Uh, how do I answer that when the guy who's running the tennis channel? Is that, I am the biggest jerk in tennis. <laughs> there you go. Yeah, Take me. it all on yourself. Yeah. All right, there, you got off easy there, Steve. Hey, we appreciate you sticking around. Thank you so much. Good. Hey, thanks a bunch. Steve Bellamy from the Tennis Channel joining us.